Howdy, how's it going? My name's Davy Chappie, and it is time. Every list, every spell guide, they've all been spiraling towards this moment. The final spell list. It's almost cathartic that the one to see this series off would be the wizard. Fifteen videos, and I still refuse to change my format. But, and I don't know if you know this, the wizard is all about spells. It's their thing, that and stealing features from the sorcerer. The wizard has, by far, the largest spell list in the entire game, and unlike other classes that can get along without them decently well, the wizard is made or flayed depending on its spell choice. But that being said, I don't know if just one chap is enough to get through an entire wizard spell list. So it looks like I'll need to call in some help. Until then, I'll just have to stall with cantrips! Acid Splash. Toss a drink to your witcher, whole valley of- Oh my god, it's in my eyes! Blade Ward. Just- just dodge. Booming Blade. If you're a blade singer, maybe, but if not, chill touch. In the Forgotten Realms, bones hold you. Control Flames. Flavorful and fun. Create Bonfire. Not necessary due to Firebolt, but it keeps a small area away. Dancing Lights. Non-Dark Vision players will appreciate it. Firebolt. Your best friend. Friends. Your best friend for like, one minute and then they'll attack you. Frostbite. Disadvantage is always nice. Green Flame Blade. Same as the Boom Boom, if someone breathes centrally on you, you'll fall over. Gust. Infestation. The effect is dumb, but it gets a two because you throw bees at people. Light. For all you dark vision challenged folk out there. Lightning lure. If you're a fighter, absolutely. If you're a wizard, absolutely not. Mage hand. Is that a mage hand in your pocket? Are you just happy to see- uh, Oh, no, there goes your wallet. Mending. You might need it, you might not. Message. Point at somebody like a pod person, and this is how secret messages are done. Minor illusion. Mold Earth. Flavorful Earth Noises. I don't have any rocks anywhere, sorry. Poison Spray. Hit an enemy ten feet away with the worst damage type in the game. Prestidigitation. Especially the wizard. Ray of Frost. The argument between whether you should take Ray of Frost or Firebolt will rage on forever. Shape Water. Shocking Grasp. So you got a choice here. You can either disengage and run away for certain, or potentially deal damage but run the risk of missing entirely. Your choice. Sword Burst. If you are surrounded by enemies, stop being that. Thunderclap. Second verse, same as the first. Toll the Dead. It actually gets better at later levels when the enemies are less likely to die in one hit. True Strike. I- I can't believe I'll never get another opportunity to talk about how bad True Strike is. Wait, what's that on the horizon? <gasps> They're here! Level 1. Absorb elements. Hit me with fire breath. Nah, fam. You can have it back in the next attack. Decent reaction, but situational. Alarm. Make sure not to set it to a song you like, otherwise you'll end up hating it forever. You will never actually use this, but the DM somehow has every enemy ever have it. Burning hands. Baby's first AoE that looks way more badass than what it actually is. You will always take this. Catapult. Catapults? More like... Gun! Nailed it. Save the spell slot though for something more useful and just use a bow. Cause fear, crowd control, and debuff. Pretty good method of separating problem melee attackers and gives disadvantage as well. The fact they get a saving throw every turn though leaves a lot to be desired. Charm person, makes the target friendly to you for an hour. Then they realize that you are playing it for a fool. It's basically the effects of being drunk shortened to an hour. Chromatic orb, it's like playing catch, but the ball is made of raw elemental magic. Also, you don't want it to hit you. Color spray, this is basically an LGBT flashbang and it's really good. Comprehend languages, this spell is almost always useful. If just to make sure the duo Lingo Owl's bloodlust is satisfied for the day. Detect magic, an adventuring staple. If you don't have this, you can probably steal it from some drunk frat at the nearest magic college. Disguise self. Does this spell make me look fat? It does? Perfect, I'm impersonating a politician. Earth Tremor. Create a road hazard that can both prone and damage enemies, but at the cost of causing traffic buildup on I-75. Expeditious Retreat. We've had one movement, yes, but what about second movement? False Life. Give some wizard hit points so that he can survive stubbing his toe on his way to get the morning paper. Featherfall. Ignore fall damage for you and your friends as if you are actually playing one of the good Halo games. However, how often are you actually dealing with fall damage? Find Familiar. Want to make Scout Rogues and other class pets obsolete? Frog? F I think that's supposed to be Frog Cloud, but I put Frog Cloud in the script? Frog Cloud. Create a two hour delay for your local school. Some great utility, but pretty much everything else is better. Grease. Create an area of flammable trapping. Wait, it's not flammable? Did they nerf the best spell? Ice Knife. Single target spell that can become multi-target if your enemies are bunched up like morons. Save the spell slot for hundreds of better spells. Identify. GM, tell me the answer. I don't want to solve your magic puzzle. Illusory Script. Basically, it's psychic paper from Doctor Who. 
It's not terrible, but there are better things out there. Jump! The only time this will ever be useful is during high school track and field, and even then you'll probably be beaten by some aerodynamic skinny kid. Long Strider. 35% more movement speed per round is not as impressive as it sounds. Mage Armor. You're pretty much gonna be using this until mid-game where you find some bracers that do this for you. Magic Missile. A series staple and good at attacking the darkness, but the damage is so puny it's a wonder it isn't a cantrip. Protection from evil and good. They reworked the spell to make my channel useless, so whatever, even though it's now objectively better and pretty goddamn good. Ray of Sickness. This is basically acid attack from Pokemon, but the poison from it barely does anything. Shield. This is basically Doctor Strange's shields. You can do that now. It also blocks magic missiles and gives you a temporary AC bonus. Silent Image. You know how in those old cartoons how they have a sexy leg come out from behind a curtain and it reveals itself to be a trick? You could do that now. Sleep. If you are a low-level wizard, just get used to bringing a pillow with you because you are going to nap. Snare. Magically create a trap. Good, but situational. Tasha's hideous laughter. Introduce Pickle Rick into the battle and cause someone with a high IQ to fall into a fit of laughter that can only be cured by pain or a saving throw. Tensor's floating disc. Portable treasure holder. Use it at the end of dungeons to bring your loot to your wagon. If your GM doesn't actually keep track of that stuff, you can safely ignore the spell. Thunder Wave. Play your boom box real loud and push people back with the sound of your electric push. Pretty boss, actually. Unseen Servant. Hey, I'm just saying, the Book of Erotic Fantasy had a better version of this spell. Alternatively, the bard can get other people to do this stuff for you for free. Witch Bolt. Harass someone with lightning for an extended period of time. It's okay, but unless you're attacking stuff weak to lightning, just find some better spells. Second level! Hee 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 hee. Agonizer Scorcher. If you light up all your hamburgers in a row, you can grill multiple burgers all the time. It's very nice, but the name is really hard to pronounce. Alter Self. With this spell, you can turn yourself into a hamburger, but I've never been able to figure out how to eat myself as a hamburger. Arcane Lock. Honestly, locking up a hamburger is so situational that you'll likely never want to waste a spell slot memorizing this spell. I mean, come on, who doesn't just eat all their hamburgers right away? Blindness Deafness. This spell is terrifying and absolutely debilitating. I once accidentally hit the rogue with my axe while deafened. It was horrible. Blur. Why waste your concentration on making a pork chop blurry when you can create multiple pork chops with mirror image? Cloud of Daggers. Another horrible concentration spell. Daggers cool, damage cool, small area of effect and can't move it once cast? Nah, that's dumb. Continual Flame. I mean, if you're outfitting your wizard tower with permanent light fixtures, okay. But if you're doing standard adventuring stuff like turning chipmunks into friendly little pets, this spell is really dumb. Crown of Madness. Our big brain wizard thought this spell was cool until the targeted bad guy just moved out of range of any of our enemies. Then it was worthless, just like our dumb wizard. Darkness. Not a bad spell to cover your retreat. However, if you're a warlock with devil sight and you think it's cool to drop this over the battlefield, blinding both your enemies and your allies, then you're a very bad person. Dark vision. Tossing a bone to the moron variant humans who just wanted a free feat at level one? Okay, fine. Detect thoughts. Interrogating enemies without pain and suffering? Effective, I guess, but not nearly as fun. Dragon's breath. Breathe fire for an entire minute? Do you know how many pork chops we could grill? Dust Devil. Create sneezes so violent that you take damage and get pushed away? Yeah, I really like this one. Earthbind. Useful against flying hamburgers, I guess, but how often do you really encounter flying hamburgers? Enlarge Reduce. I don't know. It feels kind of like false advertising to enlarge a pork chop, get really full after eating it, and then be hungry again a minute later when it shrinks back down in your belly. Flaming Sphere. A movable? Oh, flaming sphere? <laughs> just, just line up multiple grills, fill them with your choice of hamburgers and pork chops, and then it's rolly rolly time! Gentle repose. Keep the stupid rogue from spoiling until you can get him to the butcher. Okay, I guess. Gust of wind. How many second level spells are there? I'm getting tired of talking. Old person. Yes, don't let your hamburgers run away. Barbarian approved. Invisibility. My friend Nigel really liked this spell. He would use it to hide when he was about to die. Knock. Yeah, this is pretty worthless when you have an axe. Next! 
Levitate. It's pretty good for lifting up the piggy when you need to get the fire going underneath it. Locate object. We tried using this spell once, but the dungeon master read the rules and we discovered that it was mostly worthless. Magic mouth. This spell would be better if I could cast it on myself and eat both a hamburger and a pork chop at the same time. Magic weapon. For when you have a jerk dungeon master who doesn't give you magic weapons until level five, like the rules tell him to. Maximilian's earthen grass for holding that little piggy until you you can cook him up. I like it. Melf's acid arrow. Instead of cooking the piggy, melting him. Mind spike. I don't know. It feels like locate object, only the thingy needs a brain. And brains are overrated. Mirror image. Oh yeah, I mentioned this one before. Multiple hamburgers for the win. Misty step. Every player in my group abuses the crap out of this spell. It's very good. Nisto's magic aura. Come on now. A hamburger still tastes like a hamburger, even if it looks magical. Fantastic. Possible force. One of the few illusion spells in 5e that doesn't suck, just as long as your dungeon master isn't a jerk, which is the problem with most illusion spells. Pyrotechnics. Why not just buy fireworks instead? Ray of Enfeeblement. Having the damage of the big bad evil guy? How dare you? Rope trick. Uninterrupted short rest? It's good for nappy nappy time. Scorching Ray. Grill several little piggies all at once. Very tasty. See invisibility for when Nigel is scared of dying and turns invisible. Guaranteed use once per combat. Shadow blade. Turn your axe into deadly shadows and make those piggies squeal. Shatter. Ooh, a second level fireball without the fire. That's good. Skyrite. This is stupid. Go play with the clouds on your own time. Snillix snowball swarm. Kind of like shatter, only it sucks. Spider climb, for when you flip the burgers and they stick to the ceiling. Next time, put butter on the ceiling. Suggestion, make stupid morons do anything you want. Why do you think I behave the way I do? Warding wind, make the wind protect you, I suppose. Web, it's sticky sticky time, baby. Let those pork chops try to run away now. Third level. Animate dead. Now you can ruin the murder mystery party. What? What's wrong with Mr. Body getting up and helping us solve who killed him? He can be really insightful. Bestow curse. You can curse people with whatever your heart desires, like disadvantage or wisdom saving throws, or dealing extra damage to them, or losing their entire turn. You know, all of that's pretty balanced. Blink. Ah, Misty Step gone wrong. Catnap. This spell was made for desperate warlocks who love sleeping in dungeons to get their spells back. Clairvoyance. The spell the DM gives you when no one's going the right way, or if you get trapped in a maze. Screw your dumb maze, DM. Counterspell. <laughs> oh, sorry, you wanted to turn? Dispel magic. <laughs> Oh, sorry, you wanted to have mage armor? Enemies abound. You seethe deep paranoia into one's mind, forcing them to fear even their closest friends, and the best name they could come up with was bad guys incoming. Erupting Earth. This is a spell? Oh yeah, you turn on the secret dirt blender. Fear. You tell everyone in a 30-foot cone, hey, watch this YouTube video, it's so funny, and they react appropriately. Feign death. Ah yes, faking your own death, a valuable tool in the wizard's arsenal. This is how you can prank your cleric by choosing to pass away because you never got healed, and then you show up 15 years later, kidnap their two children, offer them up for ransom, collect the bounty, reveal it was you all along, finally get healed at six hit points, and go on with your life fulfilled. Too much? Fireball. 8d6 fire damage? Are you kidding me? Could you imagine if Gandalf was running around just exploding everything in the path of the Fellowship? He'd be a maniac! Who decided to give wizards this power? Somebody should definitely make a video series about this. Flame arrows. Economic fireballs. Fly. True ultimate power. As soon as you can fly, you're just the coolest wizard ever. Just don't lose concentration. Gaseous form. Fly but with fart energy. Glyph of warding. One of the coolest spells ever that is unfortunately limited to a state stationary object. You know those really annoying runes in Skyrim? Yeah, those. It says you can make the runes explode, but giving your front door a fireball alarm system is awesome. Haste. Fun for fighters, not for wizards. Hypnotic pattern. This is for everyone who stayed to watch the YouTube video from Fear and are mesmerized by cringy D&D YouTuber hot takes. Liamin's tiny hut. You create a no-no dome for your personal space against eldritch horrors lurking beyond the veil. Nothing can break this dome. Except for Dispel Magic. Life Transference. Equivalent Exchange. I actually love this spell. It's the wizard's dark form of healing that can make for some great roleplay. Lightning Bolt. Fireball, but 
thin and long and sparky. Magic Circle. Protect yourself against most creatures. Don't get charmed or frightened. And it must be an oval, otherwise you'll attract sea bears. Major Image. If your DM is nice, you could be the most powerful person to a group of peasants by creating their god in front of them. This spell is really hit or miss because as soon as they discover the man behind the curtain, your reputation is ruined. Mouth's Minute Meteors. Ah yes, an owlbear's only weakness. Bullets. Non-detection. This spell's for DMs who are sick of scrying. Phantom Steed. I like that you've got all these spells of primal creation, illusion, an elemental power. And then we've got summon horse. Protection from energy. Wow, you can actually protect your allies. Wizards can be useful to their party. I can't believe this ex- Damn you, concentration! Remove curse. A very useless spell, unless you're in Barovia. You're a god in Barovia with this spell. Sending. Call up the BBG every night and ask how they're doing. Or anyone, really. They cannot resist hearing you in their head every single day. Sleet storm. Let it go. Let it go. Make everybody fall prone. Slow. Slow your enemies in a 40 foot cube and hit them easier. Alternatively, make your fireball explosion look really cool in slow motion. Stinking cloud. <laughs> What awful, messed up wizard was like, yeah, the contribution I'm gonna make to this magical world is a fart cloud that smells so bad everyone has to barf. What being of pure evil made this? Summon lesser demons. You can summon demons, but they don't listen to you, so you just make combat worse by adding gremlins who kill everyone. Thunder step. Misty step, but more dramatic. Tidal wave. Look, I know it's a great combat spell, but the potential of summoning a giant amount of water is limitless. You could make a car wash. <laughs> Tiny servant. Not to worry, everyone. I've brought the murder weapon to life. He agreed he'll show me to the killer. Tongues. You can understand languages. You can just butt into conversations that you have no right being a part of. <laughs> Vampiric touch. Ah, yes. Backwards life transference, also known as the big suck. Wall of sand, exactly as it says. You just make a wall of sand. Helpful for protecting the Death Star plans. Wall of water, exactly as it says. Visually impressive, hire wizards who take the spell for parties. Water breathing. For when that wizard you hired for the party miscalculates where the wall of water should go. Fourth level. Dungeon coach here, another DC YouTuber. Now let's get into these spells. Arcane Eye is your own invisible, super secret spy orb that you can see through. It flies around and has unlimited range. Sweet. Banishment. Send a creature to another plane. And if they aren't from this plane, then send them on a one-way ticket back home. As long as you can keep your concentration. Blight. Short range, but decent damage. But versus plants, it's totally broken. I love spells that are good in general, but when used for a specific purpose, become deadly. And Blight is definitely one of them. Charm Monster. Like Charm Person, but more monstrous. If used right, could be a total game changer. Confusion? Solid crowd control with potentially hilarious results. Conjure minor elementals. With this requiring concentration and a one minute cast time, this is just not as good as some other summon spells. And a player summoning eight little elemental critters just sounds awful as a DM. Control water. You gain access to this entire paragraph of four different water abilities, but unlike blight, which is good in any situation, but has awesome specific uses, this spell is only good if you're around water and totally useless if not. Dimension door. Best mid-combat getaway spell in the game. Elemental bane. Has anyone ever taken this? Increases the future damage creatures take from a given element by 2d6 and wipes resistance to that element. But it does no damage itself. And even if you do trigger this effect, it's only 2d6 for a fourth level spell. No. Evard's Black Tentacles, an AoE spell that restrains you to stay inside of it? Yes, please. Fabricate, a fourth level spell slot that makes stuff out of stuff. Cool for roleplay, awful for combat. Fire Shield. A 10 minute shield with a hot or cold setting that projects dim light, gives resistance to fire or cold, and deals automatic 2d8 damage to anyone that hits you. This thing is fire. Now get it? Like fire, like fire. Never mind. Greater invisibility. Fighting while invisible? Great. Hallucinatory terrain. A 10 minute cast time, but it lasts one whole day. This is super situational, but it could be a great setup for something big. There's just other more reliable things to pick up instead. Ice Storm. Decent damage and creates difficult terrain in the area. Solid AoE spell. Leoman's Secret Chest. You cast a spell on a very expensive chest that lets you store stuff in a sketchy place. Again, there's just better things to pick up. Locate Creature. When the story needs you to find something, this lets you do that. Morden Kanan's Faithful Hound, an invisible guard dog that alerts and attacks creatures. Oh, who's a good spell? I oh, used a good spell. Mm. Morden Kynan's Private Sanctum. Sadly, not as good as the dog spell with a long cast time, really hard to pull off, and has only very specific uses. Autoluke's Resilient Sphere. Literally put any large or smaller creature in a magic hamster ball. 
trap enemies, protect allies, or give your favorite pet a cool new toy for one minute. Phantasmal Killer. A single target fear spell that has a chance for recurring 4d10 psychic damage? Damn, that's a real killer spell there. Huh? Killer? Get it? Phantasmal? No, no, never mind. Polymorph. Classic and one of the best spells in the game. You can polymorph yourself into a hamster and get into Udalic's Resilient Sphere. Sweet. Sickening Radiance. An AoE spell that spreads around corners, deals radiant damage, reveals invisible creatures, and causes stats of exhaustion, but is somehow still not the best. I'm going to give this one one and a half DCs because I'm really on the fence about this one. Stone Shape. This burns a spell slot to let you play with some dirt. Nope. Stone Skin. Give yourself or an ally resistance to non-magical physical attacks. Not the worst, but there are better defensive options for you. Storm Sphere. Man, there sure are a lot of spheres at this level. A ball of lightning that lets you shoot out more lightning? Yes. Summon Greater Demon. Like Summon Lesser Demon, but with more downsides, because if you lose control of this one, it can kill you better. Vitriolic Sphere. Instead of Fireball, this is Acid Ball. A little more damage that lasts across two rounds, but you should probably just cast Fireball. Eh? Right, Jacob? I cast Fireball. Wall of Fire. Create a fiery wall with only one side that's hot somehow, but you can still pass through it if you're okay with taking some damage. So it doesn't do the best job at being a wall, but still cool. I mean hot, you get it. Watery Sphere, Fireball, Acid Ball, now we got Water Ball. Vacuum up your enemies and restrain them in a ball of water, but it deals no damage and it takes a full action to move it. It's a cool idea, but I think it needs some work. Man, I sure had a ball doing all these spells. Fifth level! Animate Object. It's like Be Our Guest, but with more violence. Arcane Hand, also referred to as Bigby's Hand. Although it is killable, its strength is through the roof, and you can use it to push, grab, block, and most importantly, slap other creatures. Very useful. Cloud Kill. It's like a longer-lasting, smellier, moving fireball. Cone of Cold. Decent enough damage, but the main draw is the massive area of effect, which is nice. Conjure Elemental. Elementals can be very powerful, especially if you choose the right one for the enemies you're fighting, but make sure you are as out of harm's way as possible, or be very careful which kind of elemental you're okay with potentially turning on you. Contact other plane. Could be great, could be useless. Could give you a killer headache and sit you out for the rest of the day. Control wins. A massive soft crowd control that can be great if the enemy is reliant on more physical means of attacking or terrible if your allies are. Creation. Do not underestimate a five foot cube. That is a lot of space that can be filled with useful items. Ammo for your ranged allies. Cover if you're setting up an ambush. Free money. Its usefulness is only limited by your imagination. Dance Macabre. Great if you have plans to set up but need a group more expendable than your party members. Dawn. Praise the sun! Dominate person. It functions the way people think charm person does, so it's really good. Dream. Become the nightmare. There are spells with better damage and more utility at lower levels with fewer prerequisites. Enervation, like Witch Bolt, but more vampiric. Far Step, just cast Fly. Gios, I'd say just use Suggestion and you'll achieve the same desired effect. The long as Hector Ration is appealing though, if you want a long-term soft solution to getting someone off your back. Hold Monster, Hold Person is already amazing. Hold Monster is just that, but better. Immolation, it's the definition of average. Infernal Calling, as insane as it sounds to summon a devil to fight for you, the risk of summoning something even worthwhile at this level is way too high for the reward. So yeah, is it good? No. But is it fun and hilarious and could result in an entire side story? Oh yeah. Legend lore. Just roll a history check. Mislead. The safest scouting tool of all time. Modify memory. This is just charm person with extra steps. Negative energy flood. It's like three spells in one, if slightly worse versions of them. Pass wall. What wall? Planar binding. A good combo spell that can make all your other summoning spells that have fine print a lot more useful and consistent. A must have if you take infernal calling. And on its own, a decent enough pseudo charm. Rary's telepathic bond. Telepathic communication with your party over any distance for an hour is insanely good for literally every situation. Scrying. Checking in on the big evil bad guy once a day is incredibly useful. Seeming. It's like the sky's self, but with more communism. Skill empowerment. The concentration is a bit of a turnoff, but prepping double proficiency before an important task outside of combat is good. Steel wind strike. Omae wa mo. Shindeiru. Synaptic Static. It's like Vicious Mockery, but with more communism. Telekinesis. Become the Roller Coaster Tycoon Pickup Tool. Teleportation Circle. I ate, I'ma head out. Transmute Rock. Way more utility than you think, and way more useful than you think. A great way to just totally halt grounded targets in their tracks, and then bury them alive. Wall of Force. You shall not 
pass! Wall of stone. You shall not pass! Wall of light. You shall pass, but also praise the sun! Sixth level. Arcane Gate. Unlike other teleport spells, the target does not need to be willing. So you can open up a portal, maybe some kind of hazard, and have your barbarian give the good hefty shove, and away they go. Also, because the portals stay open, you can actually have multiple targets go through it. Let's say that you were trying to move uh, 100 people or a bunch of sheep or something like that. Chain Lightning. <laughs> <laughs> now you can be the Sith Lord you always wanted to be. Very useful, very powerful. Circle of Death. Isn't this just another name for Fireball? Contingency. Yo, I heard you like spell, so I'm gonna make a spell that puts a spell in another spell. Seriously, it lets you prepare a safety spell, which goes off if you find yourself in danger. Like a fly spell if you're falling. It's too situational to be useful, I haven't really seen it used that often, but it's, it's interesting, very unique. Great homunculus. You get a new Frando! At first glance, it seems like a worse version of Find Familiar, but Create Homunculus lets you telepathically communicate with your friendo. Oh wait, Find, find Familiar does that too? And a familiar lets you see through its eyes and, and a homunculus permanently lowers your maximum HP when you cast it? But at least it gives you longer range, right? One star! Create Undead lets you summon a horde of undead, and by horde, I mean three of them. Not really the full evil necromancer build, but it's a start. Disintegrate. Do you have people that are there, and you want them to not exist anymore? What about a halfling player that keeps getting in everyone's way? With one flick of the wrist, they're gone, and no gory mess to clean up afterwards. Draw Ninja's instant summons. Summon an item to you. This spell would be situational useful if it let you summon a stolen item back to you, but it turns out that if someone has the item in their possession, it doesn't work. So you're spending a thousand gold pieces to make something more inconvenient, and it has to be less than 10 pounds? I have literally never seen this spell used in a useful way according to the rules. I bite. Useful, flavorful, versatile. But if I wanted to scare someone, I'd just use fear. Flesh to stone. This is petrification, uh, super cool. Very flavorful as the target gets restrained and makes three saves while they're slowly turning to stone. Globe of Invulnerability. The globe protects you from other spells, but enemies and melee characters can still walk through the barrier to attack you. Still, a spell barrier at high levels. It's great. Guards and Wards. This spell does a ton of useful stuff. You cast out an area, and in a good place it might give you an ethereal glow, healing magic, or a sense of peace. In a villain's lair, it might cause the players to get lost. Haunting smoke might billow around obscuring places. Super cool. Investiture of Flame. Let's you deal damage if someone is nearby and throw fire from your hands. Not as useful because you have to be in melee, and if you're a wizard, that's kind of not going to happen. And the other thing is that it will often hurt your allies, so uh, it it causes a lot of trouble. Investiture of Ice. Let's you shoot Ice Deep Blast from your hand at will instead of the fire. Investiture of Stone. Resistance to physical damage and can move through solid stone. Both are really nice. Investiture of Wind. So it gives you a flying speed plus it repels ranged attacks. It's very effective because usually when you're flying, your major concern is ranged attacks. Magic Jar. Really, this seems like it's a villain spell. It needs a lot of setup to work, but I think it's really flavorful. Mass Suggestion. I think anyone who's watched X-Men and seen Xavier is like, ooh, I wanna do that. Suggestion is a good spell and it's a bigger version of it. So this is really good as well. Mental Prison. Words of the target to stay in one spot, like being trapped in a mime's magic box. Move Earth. Very useful. Uh, it's got a lot of great utility. Auto Luke's Freezing Sphere. Hits an area, does a bunch of AOE damage. If it hits water, it traps a creature inside. Pretty vanilla, but it works. Otto's Irresistible Dance. The first time we read this spell, we thought we read it wrong. The first casting of the spell, there is no save. It's Otto's Irresistible Dance. If you could save against it, it would be resistible, wouldn't it? Programmed Illusion. Creates an illusion in the last five minutes. Eh. It, it works. Scatter. Get rid of those pesky enemies nearby. Soul Cage. Awesome spell. As a target dies, you can trap the soul and it lets you extract memories from it. Uh, ask it questions and use its body to describe on locations it's been to and people it's met. Uh, yeah, really useful. I don't know if you've ever played D&D before, but lots of characters die. People die all the time. So you're gonna have a lot of souls that you could potentially use. Sunbeam. It's like a lightning bolt, which blinds as well. Tensor's Transformation. So let me get this straight. It's It takes your wizard and lets them be a frontliner by giving them like proficiency in heavy weapons and temporary hit points and stuff, but it doesn't increase your strength and plus it's concentration. So if you get hit once, it goes away. I just, I can't see this being used that often. And besides, if you're a wizard, you have other stuff that you're probably using. True seeing. Remember that time the DM negated your super awesome assassination plot with that BS true seeing ability? Now you can do it too. Wall of ice creates a wall 
of ice. Ever heard of Wall of Fire? It's like that, but with 100% more ice in it. Level seven. Crown of Stars. Seven floating Christmas lights that you can fling as a bonus action for 4d12 radiant damage, like a ninja halo of justice. Delayed Blast Fireball. This is basically the original StarCraft Ghost Nuke, one of the strongest AoE attacks in the game, but for a level seven slot, maybe you want something better than just throw lots of fire at it. Although, you know, maybe that's exactly what you need. Etherealness. Did you think it was cool when the Ancient One knocked Bruce Banner out of his body? then you're going to love this spell. Lots of flexibility. Finger of death. Hey you, die. Then rise up to serve me dinner and clean my boots. Great spell against casters as it forces a constitution save. Force Kate, level seven, a magic mime. Invisibly imprison a big bad evil guy, seal a dam to save a town, or play pranks on the party's paladin. There's so many choices. Mirage Arcane, this land now looks like different land. Woo. Uh, this high in the game, most things fly. Hard pass. Morton Kanan's Magnificent Mansion. Quest in style. Uh, yeah, the, but there's so much room for activities meme only goes so far over Lehman's tiny hut. Not worth it. Morton Kanan's sword. Uh, you made a sword. Congratulations. Clerics can do that at like level one. Add in concentration and you have maybe the worst spell at this level. Plane shift. This is what I like to call the Banff spell. No, not that Banff, but rather Banff like Nightcrawler. Just Google it, okay? Anyways, bamf out for one action to save you and your friends or just bamf any extra planar enemies back to their home plane. Power word, pain. The Cruciatus Curse from Harry Potter, with one exception. The Cruciatus Curse doesn't give people a chance to save every single round. The only saving grace is, however, that it's not a concentration spell. Prismatic Spray, the other AOE spell at this level. If you wanna hurt things in a cone instead of a radius, take this over Delayed Blast Fireball. Not terrible, but not the most creative. Project Image, two and a half faces. Yes, that's right, two and a half. I actually love this spell a lot because it awards creativity. The funnest thing to do with this spell, in my opinion, is to run through the dungeon, sprinting through the doors and just See what's in every room. Try it and watch your DM have a small panic attack. You'll lose the element of surprise maybe, but maybe not. The range is 500 miles by the way. Reverse gravity. Okay, maybe the funniest spell at seventh level. There is technically no save. The deck save is only to grab onto something held down, but in a field or in an inn or bar, up, up and away. Sequester. Uh, I'm sorry, I fell asleep reading this spell. Simulacrum. Duplicate yourself. Okay, I'm giving this spell two separate ratings. As a single seventh level spell, it's a one star because it's a lot of hassle. But if you use a ninth level wish spell on it, Simulacrum is the single best spell in the game as a target for wish. One action, no material components cost, double wizards. Trust me. Symbol, uh, it's an upgraded version of Glyph. Cool, I guess, if you have time, but there are just too many good spells at this level to take it. Ah, teleport, poof, we out of here, fam. Uh, second most powerful spell in the game after Wish, there's there's not much else to say. And Whirlwind, a mini tornado mez that requires concentration and still lets the targets save every round. Move over, Mordenkainen sword. Whirlwind just knocked you off the spot for the worst seventh level spell. Thanks, Chappie. Happy gaming, everyone, and stay safe out there, all right? Eighth level. Abid Alzim's Horrid Wilting. It's got a super metal name, does pretty good damage, but that's all it does. There are better ways to give the baddies boo-boos and much better ways to mow your lawn. Anti-Magic Field. This is the magical equivalent of unplugging the GameCube and going home. Shut down an Archmage and send in the Barbarian. It can work, but you don't get to cast spells either. Antipathy and Sympathy. A great way to get people to your birthday party or force them to respect social distancing. Not a great way to spend an eighth level slot, though. Clone. An ethical nightmare but a pretty solid method to get out of rolling a backup character. Control weather. Very slow weather control. By level 15, you should have better ways to deal with rainy days. Demiplane. Hey, Stradi, old buddy, old pal, go check out this room I made. I promise I won't trap you inside for all eternity. There's a foosball table. Dominate monster. It's good, but charm immunity and legendary resistances are pretty common at this level, so it can be tricky to pull off. Feeble mind. Wisdom and charisma casters don't get to cast spells anymore, but big brain baddies could make the save and waste your slot. Illusion. 
Illusory Dragon. This spell should be called Invincible Dragon. You get 76 damage as a bonus action and frightening abilities. Incendiary Cloud. Fireball's hotter cousin that says they want something more long term but literally disappears when the wind blows. Maddening Darkness. This isn't your average everyday darkness. This is maddening darkness. And you can't see through it either. Whoops. Maze. Think plane shift, but with less utility, more ways to escape, and a non-permanent banishing. It's funny, but bad. Mighty Fortress. Nobody has to keep watch. You can build a castle in less time than it takes to make popcorn. Also, it's full of servants who can make you popcorn. Mind blank. Head empty? No thoughts. Good against interrogations and illithids, but pretty situational. Power word stun. Like the other power words, you've got to be able to read the DM's poker face. But if you think the creature has low constitution, Risk it for the stunned biscuit. Sunburst. Single action spirit bomb, triple the range of fireball, less commonly resisted, and potentially blinding. It's a heck of a way to kick off a fight. Telepathy. This is just sliding into someone's mental DMs, and it doesn't even work through other planes. Great for long distance relationships, though. Level 9. Astral Projection. The D&D equivalent of unplugging from the Matrix. Foresight. This spell gives the target every possible combat advantage they could want for 8 hours, so yeah. It's kind of a big deal. Imprisonment. I banish you to the Shadow Realm! Gate. Let's go on a refreshing trip to the Shadow Realm! Invulnerability. Being completely invulnerable to all damage for up to 10 minutes is every bit as useful as it sounds. Mass Polymorph. Turning your enemies into marketable plushies has ah! never been easier. Meteor Swarm. One of the most situational offensive spells in the game, but whenever you need to level a city, it is incredibly useful. Power Word Kill. Very vicious mockery. Prismatic Wall. Far and away the coolest and most interesting spell on this list. Prismatic Wall consists of seven layers. Some do damage, another can petrify, and one can even send the unfortunate creature to another plane of existence. This is my favorite 9th level spell just because of the potential for something awesome to happen. Psychic Scream. Dealing some decent damage and stunning up to 10 targets with very little resources to prevent or mitigate it makes this spell one of, if not the best, in the way of crowd control. Shape Change. The D&D equivalent of an Omnitrix. Time Stop. One of the most universally useful spells in the game. When every second counts, Time Stop grants you up to five entire turns. True Polymorph. This spell was popularized by a transmuter named Richard who polymorphed himself into a pickle. And by the gods, it was the most humorous thing the court has ever seen. Weird. Uh, the bowling alley screen when you get a strike at 3 a.m. Wish. Depending on your DM, this could be the best or the worst thing to happen to your party. Make sure to bring snacks for your DM if you plan on using this spell. But that'll about do it! Thank you so much for watching this extra long video. Thank you to all of my fellow collaborators for sticking out with me. This was a multiple month long venture. And thank you to all of my patrons for supporting me for long enough that I could even get this video done. Normally I'd say check out all my social media, but please check out the social media of each and every D&D talk about her that took the time out of their day in order to rate some stupid spells knowing that people would yell at them. Have a nice day, but yeah, Davy out.